Let's learn some more uh, functions in R. There is, for example, the, the sequences function, which is quite useful and can be used quite regularly. So uh, basically it is um, called SEQ, then we would have um, the brackets, and then there are our, our arguments. So what this basically does is, it says that I want a sequence from 3 to 5. It's from and to. I'm going to run it. So it's three, four, five. The absolute same thing um, can be achieved by actually typing in the full code. I could uh, tell the computer that it's from three to five. Gives um, the same result. Another way to do it is I can say I want the sequence from three or starting from three. And it should basically have the length uh, three. It should also give us the same result because there are three values in this in this vector. And if I run it, yeah, it is it is the same result. What I can do is I can I can tell the computer that um, the steps in between the values should not be one; it should be smaller or bigger. Um, in this case, let's say we want um, we want the gap to be or the steps be uh, zero point five. So um, the command would be by by 0 0.5. Run it. It's a vector. So it's um, of the length three. So it's three values, and um, it um, it gets higher um, by 0 0.5. You may have noticed that um, if you if you use a function like sequence or any given other function. Between those those brackets, you can find the arguments. Yeah. Those are the function arguments. So here I have from, length, and by, and the arguments are separated with this comma. Yeah. There is no fixed order. So if you actually um, say from, length, and by, so argument number one, two, and three, you can you can also switch those arguments. And for example. Instead of length being a position two, it's now here position three on the as the argument position, and it gives um, the same result. So arguments can be changed. All right. Um, the next um, the next important um, function is um, the paste function. Um, it comes in quite handy when you are dealing with characters. So, uh, for example, you have um, some kind of name or X, Y, Z, and um, you wanna uh, you wanna count it um, from one to ten. Right? So you want X, Y, Z one, X one, X, Y, Z two, up until uh, X, Y, Z ten. So this is the way you would do it. You would use the paste function, and you would say paste this uh, kind of numbers here to uh, to this character here um, in the brackets yeah. so it would then give me this um, this character vector so I could also um, I could also paste a vector to this character here and um, I could I could actually mix the the um, arguments in this vector so those are not only numbers, I also put another character in uh, this vector. And as you can see here, uh, it runs perfectly fine. There are numbers in this um, test. Sometimes you uh, you may wanna uh, you may wanna change the, the space between uh, between the character and the number. The, the command for that is called SEP. So this is this stands for separator. SEP is the separator. And um, if I want to delete this kind of, um, of space in here, I just have to um, basically type in SEP equals quotation marks. And I would not fill in the quotation marks so they are, they are empty. Okay, so if I run this, I get the same vector as here, but it is no space in between. If you take a few seconds, where do you think that this um, this function or this kind of um, of character vector 
um, can be useful. This kind of vector, this kind of character vector works perfectly fine if you, for example, need some kind of, of label uh, for your plots. Another function I am using uh, quite often is um, the repeat. So what, what it does basically, it tells the computer that you have some kind of um, argument and you want to repeat uh, this one uh, three times. Yeah, so you would put in the, the value and then you would you would say how often you want to repeat it. So it gives us this um, three, four, five, this uh, sequence three times. We could not only type a vector, we could type in um, this kind of argument. Also works perfectly fine. So it's again one to ten uh, three times in a row. Um, you could, for example, let's say you um, you create um, a vector x which is um, one two three yeah so you create um, this kind of vector you wanna uh, you wanna repeat it but what you want to do is you want each value within this vector to be repeated three times on its own so what it does is it basically gives us um, yeah this output over here so each single value is repeated three times and we can combine uh, combine those arguments and what we would then get is an output like this so we have each each value repeated three times and we have the whole sequence uh, repeated three times. We could, for let's create um, this kind of vector here. Let's run it. Okay. So we could, for example, um, assess um, the position with uh, within the vector by um, using the which function. What this thing does is it actually assesses which position in the computer or in this um, in the vector x and has um, the value 10 okay so which position in the vector x has the value 10 as we can see down here in this case it is um, it is so 10 is the seventh value as we can see here the the vector x if we count so this one over here is number 10 and it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so it's um, position number seven that we can find the value ten, and that's exactly what this um, what this statement does. The other way around would be um, to determine what value is on position three. Right. So in this case, we would use um, we would use the box brackets, and we would just say vector box brackets and um, position 3 and then we would get um, the value 6 1 2 3 so it's the value 6 uh, let's make some kind of summary of um, what what we did in the last um, videos we learned how to assign um, objects there are several ways we use those those kind of arrow commands or this equal sign or also the um, the assign uh, function we learned how to um, how to see which which objects are um, already occupied and we learned how to remove objects um, we did we did some uh, some vector calculation examples yeah, we did uh, some um, exercise on the on the position with a vector uh, we learned about um, the sequence function uh, we used um, the paste function, which which can be used to create labels for, uh, for plots. We basically learned about um, the repeat uh, function, and um, we did uh, some more exercise on vector position. 
This was Martin from AmaInnesTutorials.com. Please do not forget to subscribe and to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and if you found it helpful. If you have any questions, you can contact me directly at my website AmaInnesTutorials.com or you could, for example, leave a comment. Furthermore, just take a look at the other videos I prepared for you on the topic of R programming.